Hi everyone, it's Miss Kristen from Town Hall and it's time for Art Ventures. Today we're going to do some DIY. So DIY is do it yourself. So, um, depending on your family, some of you may have a cell phone. Um, if you don't have a cell phone, you may have an iPod, um, something that maybe you can watch movies on or something that you can listen to music on. If you don't have something like that, um, you may have a parent or a sibling, so like a brother or sister, or maybe even a cousin that might have um, an iPod or a cell phone. So what I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to make speakers. So basically, um, I can't show you my cell phone because I'm videotaping with it, but you have your cell phone, and what you can do is you can make speakers, which will just basically amplify the sound just to make it a little bit louder. Kind of works like a phone stand plus a speaker. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Um, the two that I'm going to show you require two cups. So paper cups work best. So like a cup that you'd have at a birthday party. Um, I did it with styrofoam cups also, but as you can see, cutting a circle out is kind of hard and it's pretty messy, but it does work. Um, so if you have styrofoam cups or preferably paper cups, if you have those, um, you'll need something to trace with because you're going to need to have um, a toilet paper cardboard tube. Um, and like I said, something to trace with, so like a pencil, a marker, or a pen. Um, I guess a crayon or a color pencil would work. And then something to cut with. So you can use scissors or if you're going to have an adult help you, um, they may have a box cutter or something that's called an X-Acto knife. This is super, super sharp. So you should have an adult do this part for you. You can probably do scissors on your own. You just have to take your time and be careful, okay? All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the um, speaker that uses two cups. So I cut the first one out. So basically what I did is I took my toilet paper tube, okay? Placed it on my cup. Now, so you can see it's not very flat, so it's not the best tracing job to do, but basically I did it like this, and where'd my marker go? I took my marker, and I of course already did this part, but then I just traced around the cardboard tube to make the circle, and again, not the best circle because it's not a flat surface, but you get the idea. All right, then what you wanna do is you wanna get your scissors, um, and you're gonna need to poke a hole in. So if you've ever done this before, you have to be very careful so that you don't poke your finger on the other side. And you may want help with this. You may even just wanna poke it in the middle. Or maybe not. Okay, and then you can cut out to the outside of your circle where you started to trace. So can you see that? It's all wrinkly from where I poked super, super hard. And then just start cutting it out with your scissors. Now, like I said, if you have an adult that's helping you, they may wanna do an X-Acto knife or a box cutter because it might be a little bit easier. They can kind of saw the circle out. Scissors work. It's a little tricky sometimes and you won't get, you know, like a perfect circle, but that is A-OK. -okay. Sometimes it helps if you flip this up so it's not in your way while you're cutting. So yeah, if you have to help do chores around the house, maybe you can put your phone in here or you can borrow your parents' phone. I got marker all over me, see? So you still may need to dress for mess. All right, so we fast forwarded ahead in our brains and I already have two paper cups that are cut out with the holes. Next, what you would do is you would take your paper tube, okay? We're gonna skip ahead a little bit too because what you need to do is have a paper tube that has the cut cut out already. And what you're gonna do is you're going to fit that in between the two circle cutouts. And if your circles are not perfect, you may have to trim them up a bit. I think I have to trim this up. I didn't make it wide enough. And this is trial and error. Like I said, when you try to trace circle on here it doesn't work the best but then you fit your tube in oh, I did it the wrong way squeeze my cup around I 
I'm making it look really easy, aren't I? I just have to be a better cutter than I am, I guess. And I wasn't really thinking about this video, but I don't have access to my phone to show you proof that it works, but it really does. It does totally, totally, totally amplify the sound of your phone. But I'm using my phone to make this video so it gets tricky. Okay, but so basically what you do is you put your cardboard tube, stick it in here, and set it down. And then with what you cut out at the top, you can use your scissors for that. And then what can I use as a pretend phone? I don't even know. You slide your pretend phone into the slot here, okay? And then when you turn your music on or your TV show on, you can hear and it kind of pushes the phone or the sound out towards you. So this is your speaker phone amplifier. Pretty easy, right? And then you can decorate the cups, like if you wanna put some stickers on them or if you wanna paint them, use markers. If you have washi tape, um, some, pe some people have that as a craft supply at home, you can kind of decorate it with that. But that was just an easy way to make speakers for your iPod or for your cell phone. And like I said, if you're not old enough, you're not allowed to have a cell phone, I'm sure someone in your family has one, you can make it for them and I'm sure that they would let you test it out. Okay, easy, right? All right, next speaker that I'm gonna show you how to make is made out of a Pringles tube, okay? So first thing you have to do is obviously buy Pringles. These are usually pretty cheap. They're usually like a dollar or something at the store. Next thing you have to do, you have to eat all the Pringles. Look at this, I ate every last one. Okay, got all the crumbs out. Really what you wanna do is wash it out. You don't really wanna keep crumbs in here. So fast forward. And I washed it all out. Now, um, you can paint over this, or if you want to peel off the, the wrapper, you can do that, okay? Um, but what you will be doing is you're going to have to cut, again, on this so that your phone will fit in here. So this part is going to be open because this is where the sound is going to come out. So you're not going to need the cap on the end. This silver part, the bottom, you're going to leave alone, okay? What you'll need to do is measure your phone and again sadly I don't have an extra phone here to show you but trust me you take your phone set it here and you're gonna trace around it so obviously when it's standing up and down okay so you're gonna just trace the bottom of your phone so where I need this marker and you can kind of even eyeball it you know what I mean by eyeball it you kind of just guesstimate by looking this is not gonna be long enough, but you see what I drew there? And then this, you probably really need something a little bit sturdier than um, scissors, so I'm gonna do the box cutter. And you have to be very careful, ladies and gentlemen. Anytime I do this at work, everyone's always like, oh my gosh, watch your fingers. I promise I do pay attention, I must just do it too quick. And they're always like, uh, be careful, be careful. So you're gonna just have to cut open the Pringles container so that your phone will be able to fit in here. I know I didn't make that long enough. So. Sometimes I need two hands, don't I? This is when I use the X-Acto knife. You don't have to put as much pressure when you use that. And the smart way to do it would be to cut away from you. Moms and dads, grandparents, teenage siblings, college siblings, babysitter who's old enough to do this. Okay. Voila. So that's what you're gonna slide your phone down into. Now, do you want your speaker um, exposed for the whole world to see where it says Pringles on it? Some of you may. If you don't want it to say Pringles, you can get some paint. Um, I'm using acrylic paint, but you can get um, paint that you have at home. And I'm just dipping it right out of 
the container. Now, um, for video purposes, I of course already have a completed project, but what you would do is paint, right? And surprise, surprise, I've chosen the color blue to match my blue outfit. And you, oh, I think I almost got paint on me. Um, so you paint it. You paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it, and then you have to let it dry because if you look super, super close, you can kind of see the Pringles container packaging through my paint. So what you're gonna wanna do is paint one coat, let it dry, and then paint a second coat, okay? So let me fast forward ahead for you, get a paper towel real quick because of course I'm messy. That's why we should make sure our table is covered, right? So that we don't make a mess on our kitchen table. Now, fast forward for you, and look, oh my gosh, it's dry, it's blue. Here's my completed blue. Now, something else that you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to stuff the front end of this with a paper towel. Why do you ask? Because that just helps make the speaker work way better for you. Now, what I did, and you don't have to do this, but what I did is I got some marbles. Now, if you're like my house, you probably have marbles like one in every drawer in the kitchen, um, probably under a couch, under a bed, uh, maybe in a toy box, maybe in a game. Um, if you don't have marbles, what else could you use? Well, you could use hmm, thumbtacks probably, um, seashells, rock, rocks. You could get some rocks out, out front somewhere. Um, but what I did is I used hot glue and I, this one of course is not on, so I could show you in real life, <laughs> um, to glue these down. And that, what that'll do is it'll just help um, your speaker stand better on the table or wherever you're gonna put it. Okay, so I squeezed some hot glue on here. Now you can use squeezable glue. I would guess that a glue stick probably will not work the greatest and glue it down. So why did I do this again? Because this way you can stand it up and it kind of won't roll around on the table for you. I really wish I had an extra phone up here with me. I'm really sorry. Um, but what you do is now this is standing flat on the table for you. I'll lift it up again so you can see. I used four marbles. You could use rocks or seashells or anything else you can creatively think of to use at home. And again, you don't have to do this part, but this is just to help it stand so it doesn't roll around on your counter um, or wherever it is that you're gonna put your speaker. Remember, you wanna stuff in a paper towel or two before this, and this should be wide enough that you can just slide your phone in and out. So basically, if you're gonna listen to some music, you wanna put your music on first and then slide it down in here. So we'll pretend, let's pretend this is my phone. I'm sliding it down in here and see how it holds your phone. Remember, this is a pretend phone. Hold your phone, the music's coming and now you can dance, you hear it, it's getting a little bit louder. I promise you it works. I promise, 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 pinky promise, pinky promise that this works. And then I brought some stickers um, just to jazz it up here a bit for us. And of course, um, the stickers I was able to find were 4th of July stickers because it is the month of July. So any kind of stickers you have, and if you don't want to use stickers, what could you do? More paint, markers, crayons, colored pencils, washi tape. Um, you could probably use pieces of, I have some tissue paper and some fabric, glue that on, whatever, whatever you want to do to help decorate it and make it look cool. All right, so I'm gonna use my pretend phone again here real quick and show you that when you have your toilet paper tube and you have it sitting inside your other speaker, see where your phone would sit? It would sit down in there and the sound will come out both sides. So see, two sets of speakers, all made out of things that you can have at home. Um, you obviously are probably gonna have toilet paper at your house um, the only thing you really would need to do is buy some Pringles. And like I said, it's not too, too expensive. Those, it's a pretty cheap snack if you're allowed to have them, um, but you're gonna have to eat a lot. So you might have to share 
don't eat, you know, a big, huge stack at one time, like limit yourself, pace yourself, but just a fun thing that you can make. And like I said, if you're not allowed to have a phone, this is totally something that you can make for someone else, okay? And like I said, I promise you it really, really works. So test it out and have fun. Thanks for watching.